Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Invisible Mind podcast for Thursday, February 11th, 2016. It's a cold one this morning. It's 10 degrees. I got me a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. This is kind of the... Um, the month for coffee because I just, I, I forgot. I looked to see how much money was on my Starbucks card and I had a reward. I'm like, <laughs> so I got me a caramel macchiato because it's Thursday and it's the last day I'm driving to work. So, yay. And it's the, it's the month of coffee because I get another reward for my birthday from from Starbucks and I get, already have a, a reward from uh, this place called Bigby Coffee, which is kind of a local chain. I don't frequent them mainly because there are none that are really convenient to me. They're all on the wrong side of the road and whatnot, which sounds kind of stupid. But you know, the part of the road I'm talking about is this is this you know four lane section of road that is just super backed up in the morning. So you know. And we, we have this thing, what we call the, the Detroit left turn, where you got to turn through the media and go through. And and so it's just, would would be a, a pain in the arse to do. So I, I generally don't, unless there's something special to do. Then I might stop at one. But, you know, I would actually love for there to be one right out of my way. But, and then I'd probably start going there, maybe instead of Starbucks. Just to kind of support a local business, local to Michigan, but whatever. So, Sierra is still missing this morning. I forgot to say that yesterday, and I felt bad about that. I did put it in the liner notes, in the show notes, in the show description. But I forgot to uh, forgot to say that. So, as of today, she is still missing. Today makes four weeks. So, it's been a month. Yeah, I can only imagine. And I hope I only ever have to imagine uh, what it's what it's like for that family. Um, the wife was talking to uh, the gentleman who's, who's one of the people from our church, whose sister this is, yesterday. And... Um, You know, they're still having a hard time of it. They are, are keeping the faith and, you know, leaning on leaning on their faith, leaning on people that are supporting them. But it's getting difficult as the time goes on. His parents and one of his sisters are still in New York. But, the, you know, living in a hotel. But the time is coming where they're going to have to go home. I think they're all, all from the Chicago area. I know his parents are from the Chicago area. I'm not sure about the sister. But not native to New York. They're not people that live in New York. Uh, you know, sooner or later, the money starts to run out. you got to get back to your job. And once again, I can only imagine how hard that would be to have to get on an airplane and leave the area. You know, I... I it would feel like giving up. It would be like, I, I need to keep looking. Maybe there's this one, maybe there's some place I haven't found to look yet that will be the place. And if I'm not there, I can't look. And I can't trust that anybody else is looking. I tell you, that's hard. That's hard stuff, man. Yeah, and what's, what's disconcerting is, is how many families are, are facing this? There's a lot of people that go that go missing every year. I don't. I haven't seen a figure. I, I did see a figure once, and I forget what it was. It was in the single thousands. I want to say it's something like three thousand, but I, I don't. I'm not sure. Whoa! We'll crash down there. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is. I do remember it was under ten grand. It was more than a thousand. It's definitely a four-digit number. 
you know, I recently saw once again on Facebook uh, a missing persons kind of kind of like what they're doing with Sierra that was getting spread around, and it was for another young black woman who has been missing, and they even put on their flyer flyer that foul play was suspected. They didn't get into any of the details, but you know, it's. It's, it's, you know, it's scary. And then if you link that up with an article I read, I, re- I came across this article the other day, and it sounds like it should be something out of, you know, I don't know, 1700s Africa or, or you know, something, you know, down in, in, in the Botany Bay in Australia when they were all convicts or something, but... They broke up a, a, a sex trafficking ring. The FBI did uh, during the Super Bowl or around the time of the Super Bowl in San Francisco. And and some of the some of the girls that had been you know, made to do this were as young as fourteen years old. And I believe, if I remember from the article correctly, one of them you know, had. Was was had mental difficulties, you know? I was autistic or or was in some way mentally impaired, you know. And they were raped hundreds of times at whatever location this was in the San Francisco area, you know. And, and that's just a disgusting. B just makes my skin crawl. You know, all those people, probably, most of them, you know, there's probably a missing persons flyer for them. Somewhere. You know, might be on a milk carton somewhere, some of the kids. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's obviously something that's starting to get... It's getting more press. You know, I, I don't... I really don't think it's it's something that's happening more. We always try to, you know, if we, if we become aware of something and we see it more, well, oh, what's with the sudden upsurge and this or that? And and I think the reality is, is this, that you have a better, we, we have better tools now for getting the word out than we used to have. You know, if you went back to the 80s and somebody's missing, you know, it would probably be really tough to get the word out. You, know, you could do some of the things that they're doing now for Sierra. They could, you know, pass out flyers and maybe get on a local TV or radio show. But the ability, you know, and, you know, maybe if you're super, super duper lucky, get on some sort of national newscast. But, you know, now with the advent of social media, you can, you can really explode it out like, the, like they have in the search for Sierra. It can, really, it can really go nationwide much, much, much quicker. And that means that we're aware of more cases. I do not think that there are more cases. I, I would hope that there are less. I, I have seen no statistics. I have no feeling for it whatsoever. I have no idea. But it, I did see an ad the other day. You know, and I immediately thought of Sierra's family. I thought, God, I hope they don't see this ad. And it's not a bad ad. But it's it's for one of the... It's a, it's a cop show. It's one of these... I can't remember if it was like Criminal Minds or Law and Order or, or you know, one of these spinoff shows. But it's, it's all about, you know, finding these missing persons... And bringing them home. That's their particular spin. And it's just like, wow. You know, it'd be nice if every search ended like a TV episode where after a short time the missing people are found and can be brought home and, you know, will eventually be okay. But that's not realistic. Even even these girls and women that were rescued from this sex trafficking thing, you know, 
they got a long road ahead of them. I'm sure what they experienced was harrowing. You know, that's just not that's just not something that you know you sit on some psychiatrist's couch a couple times and get a good sleep and a shower and a meal and all's right with the world. Now, that will seriously mess you up between the ears. I am sure. I've not experienced that. I do not know that personally. But, um, you know, that is a trauma. And you, people don't, you know, you don't recover from trauma easily. Because we're really not meant, we're really not meant to be dealing with trauma. And so then our mind finds all sorts of strange and a lot of times unhealthy ways to cope. So yeah, serious, serious ramble today, but that was what I was thinking about on the, on the four week advent of, of Sierra being missing. So if you see something on Facebook about Sierra, please pass it on. If you see something on Facebook about somebody else that's missing, please pass it on. Please share it, you know, cause it's one of those things where you maybe if you share it and somebody else shares it, it might eventually get to somebody who's seen that person or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, that's my thoughts for today, I think. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow. And I will be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.